So I got a real quick one for you. I thought this was interesting. So I saw Dreamcast Live mentioned that there is now a port of a clone of Minecraft running on the Sega Dreamcast. I find that interesting. I'm not the biggest Minecraft person, but I have played Minecraft with my kids, had a lot of fun with it. And I thought it was intriguing to see like, hey, you can actually play this game on a Sega Dreamcast. So that's what we got right here. My Dreamcast with the uh, Terra Onion mode, got HDMI. Now I don't have my system set up for uh, internet access at this time, but Dreamcast Live, you can get set up. I'll put links in the description. I have some of the uh, components needed to do so, and I'm planning on doing that very soon. That'd be cool. Play like Fantasy Star Online, online on the actual Dreamcast again, bunch of other games. But this Minecraft game is supposed to have online support as well. Uh, but it is like in a very early alpha stage. It's called Classic Cube. This is running on a lot of different devices. And it seems like Dreamcast is uh, one of the newest. So let's quickly try it out. I've played a little bit of it and I've had it crash a few times. Um, just the way it is, it's bound to crash on you. <laughs> it's, it's in a very early state, like I said. Uh, it's being developed. So hopefully over time, you know, we'll get a more uh, playable experience. But it is supposed to be playable online right now. But I'm going to go down just single player. It'll load up. <laughs> so it's it's very weird playing this um, with a Dreamcast controller, but it works. There's like no like music or sounds, but I, I find this really cool. So you could place uh, blocks, you could destroy, you know, destroy things, cut down trees, all that good stuff. Uh, if you press start, I believe, no, that takes you to the different menu options. If you hit X, that's what it is. X, you have different options to pick from blocks and whatnot and different items and you select them with the start button. So let's, uh, let's get the, uh, that was still lava. Is this like normal lava? Yeah. Let's, let's, uh, let's get some still lava. And I think on the website it said you place bricks with the L button, but it doesn't seem that works. You gotta use the R the R trigger, R shoulder button. All right, it's ex it's expanding. Oh crap. <laughs> I I just <laughs> I really find this cool, man. Like, look at this. It looks like Minecraft. I know it's classic cube, but it's freaking Minecraft on the Dreamcast. Let me let me find another glass. There we go. But yeah, you move around with the D-pad and then uh, the analog stick to look around. Oh my God. I think we're going to wind up crashing the game. <laughs> as soon as I said it, it, it freaking crashed. <laughs> let's, let's try again. I got to reset. It's just like there's no way to get out of this. So it does kind of seem like it, it, it spawns different areas, puts you in different spots each time. Um, cause I've played this a few times and yeah, it's not just like the same setup each time. So that, that's really cool. But yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. If you have a, you know, a, a Dreamcast that can, you know, run, uh, you know, these files, like something with a Terra Onion mode or a GDMU or, you know, whatever other solutions are out there, I'll put a link in the description so you could check this out. I've noticed like, did you see how it kind of like slowed down? like when I was turning, it started slowing down. That's when I've noticed like the game crashes. So maybe, maybe I got to take it easy, but whenever there's updates to this game, it's posted online. So if you want to follow along, you're, you know, check out that link, but let, let's see what else do we have? A little slab, put some slabs right there. Like I, I'm not like some master builder here, you know, but you can, you know, create some structures and do all sorts of cool stuff. It's got all the basics going on for it right now. Let me see. Does TNT work? Oh shit, it just blows up, doesn't even place. Okay, so TNT works. Yeah, it just, it just blows a hole in the ground. Let me see. 
we can put a random bookshelf, you know. But there you go. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I'll put links in the description so you can check this out if you're interested. I thought it was a neat little thing, uh, you know, playing these different homebrew games and whatnot. But yeah, Minecraft for the Dreamcast, Classic Cube. Appreciate you guys. Bye.